Hi everyone, it's your girl Dana back again as a spokesmodel for the HIV Stops With Me campaign for the question of the month for November. The question is, how does your gender identity impact your HIV treatment or advocacy? Well, for me, I was born a female, I identify as a female, but even in identifying as the gender I was born, there's still a lot of stigma around, especially when it comes to telling your story, your truth, what you've been through in your life, how you became HIV positive. For me, it was my addiction, my IV drug use, and that has stigmatized so much as a woman I've experienced because it's thought of that the woman should be home with the children and taking care of them. And I find that we're judged more so than men who are in the same position. Uh, so sometimes it's really difficult to deal with folks who are commenting that, how could you do that to your children, etc. Now, I've been HIV positive uh, for 30 years and I've gone through most every scenario. I've told my story for just about my whole uh, diagnosis. And what I've found too is that many people can identify with my story uh, because of the situations I've gone through and they've gone through something similar. Now, I will say that it's very difficult. The work that I've been doing in the field of HIV and addiction and how as an ally to the LGBTQIA plus community, I have heard so many horrific stories of folks who were judged and stig stigmatized and in a world where there is so much hate and so much stigma, all I could say is be kind. You never know what somebody is going through. And at the end of the day, we are all human beings and should be treated as such. So if you have a thought about this question of the month, we'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your comments. Please let us know. And until next month, I'm signing off. Make it a great day. Remember, you have the power to make today whatever you want. So go out and get it.